Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. All right, so today it's going to be a history on the Trump family. And you won't believe the uh, changes that name has gone through. And um, my goodness, the successful Trumps have all been of the same uh, vein as uh, this current Trump that we're dealing with. So this is very interesting. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. This is like a, a little mini history uh, of the Trumps. And uh, so it's about two pages, but it goes, it goes very quick. And I'll just jump right into it. So the Trump name <clears throat> actually goes back to the 17th century. I mean, that I found easily. And again, remember, this is all wiki stuff. So 17th century, the Trump name is found throughout Germany and since then recorded variously as Drum, Trump, Trump, Trum, Trump, and Drumb. And I'll put that all up there uh, so you can see. Family members still live in the region in southwestern Germany. Uh, Trump is a German surname derived from a word that was used to refer to either drums or trumpets. Now, 1608, the Trumps may be descended from an itinerant lawyer, Hans Drumpf, who settled in Karlstad. Um, and whose descendants changed their name from Drumpf to Trump during the Thirty Years' War of the early 1600s. Late 1600s, a Johannes Trump was originally from a village called Bobenheim near Karlstadt, uh, or Karlstadt, and he has established himself as a wine grower in Karlstadt in the famous wine growing region of the Palatinate Platz. Uh, several descendants uh, were also uh, vintners there. Now, this will get into Donald Trump's grandparents. Uh, 1869, Friedrich Trump, grandfather of Donald Trump, was born in Karlstadt, and he was one of six children of a wine grower. Friedrich learned the profession of barber. Now, 1880, Elizabeth Christ, a native of Karlstadt, is born. She will later become Donald Trump's grandmother. Uh, 1885, however, at the age of 16, Friedrich immigrated to the United States. He, in 1892, he anglicized his name to Frederick Trump when he became a U.S. citizen. In 1889, evidence of mineral deposits, mineral deposits, had been discovered in a Washington State mining town named Monte Cristo in Snohomish County, north of Seattle. That's actually close to where I live. Um, Monte Cristo was expected to produce a fortune in gold and silver. And then in 1894, Frederick moved to Monte Cristo. During the Alaska gold rush, he amassed a fortune by catering to the needs of gold seekers on their way to Alaska, to that region. Uh, and he provided uh, alcohol, restaurants, hotels, and with special suites for prostitutes. Now, in 1902, during a visit to uh, Germany, to his birthplace of Karlstadt, he fell in love with Elizabeth Christ. Remember, she had been born just a little while back there. And they married. Uh, they returned to Washington State, and he sold his business in order to settle down with Elizabeth across the country to New York City. Elizabeth soon became homesick, so they retired to Germany, where Trump tried to unsuccessfully regain his residency in order to avoid deportation from Germany. Frederick Trump wrote to Prince uh, Leopold. But he was refused and deprived of Bavarian citizenship reinstatement because of his lack of military service. Frederick was accused of having left the country in order to avoid hmm, military service and was later even actually banished from Bavaria. His original uh, immigration was deemed illegal. Now, 1905, he and his wife boarded the SS Pennsylvania in Germany with their baby daughter, who had been born, Elizabeth, uh, and she'd been born in 1904, and they returned to the U.S. Now we get into Donald Trump's parents. Uh, 1905, a second child was born to them in the United States. They named him 
Fred Trump, this was Donald's father, or would become Donald's father. In 1907, a third child was born. This is John G. Trump. That would have been Donald's uncle. And in 1912, Marianne McLeod is born back uh, overseas. Um, uh, Marianne McLeod is a native of Tong, a small village near Stornoway in the Western Isles of Scotland. And she's the daughter of a fisherman. Later, she would be Donald Trump's mother. So these two are going to meet. In 1918, however, Frederick uh, Donald's grandfather dies of the Spanish flu. So using an inheritance that the father Frederick left, the son Fred and the mother Elizabeth founded E. Trump and Son. Donald Trump's father Fred eventually became, you know, her son. He was the son of E. Trump, Elizabeth Trump and Son. Donald fa Donald's father Fred eventually became one of the biggest real estate developers in New York. And in 1929, Marianne McLeod, at the age of 17, who will become Donald Trump's mother, is a British subject who immigrated to the United States from Scotland, and initially she worked as a maid in New York City. Now in 1936, Fred and Mary meet and, in New York, and they marry, and they settled in Queens, New York. Now in 1942, Mary becomes a U.S. citizen. Donald's father, Fred, later came to be called Frederick Christ Trump Sr. So he took a, 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 a maternal name and blended it into his name. So Frederick Christ Trump Sr., he and Mary Ann McLeod Trump had five children. Daughter Mary Ann was born in 1937. Son Frederick Christ Jr. was born in 1938. Daughter Elizabeth was born in 1942. Son Donald John, this is Donald Trump, was born in 1946. And son Robert, the youngest and the last child, was born in 1948. Now, the, the dad, fearing that anti-German sentiments during uh, and after World War II would negatively affect his business, uh, he began, began claiming Swedish descent, presumably inferring that his own German father was instead Swedish. Now we get into the Trump Organization. So in 1971, Donald, the son, became president of E. Trump and Son and renamed the whole thing the Trump Organization. The Swedish descent falsehood was repeated by Donald to the press and in his book, The Art of the Deal, where he claimed that his grandfather Friedrich came here from Sweden as a child. In the same book, Donald also correctly said that his own father had been born in New Jersey. Now, however, later Donald said, my father's German, right? Was German and born in a very wonderful place in Germany. So I have a great feeling for Germany. Trump's father was in fact, like I just said, born in New York. In 1999, Donald Trump said that he's proud of his German heritage and having served as a Grand Marshal of the 1999 German-American Steuben Parade in New York City, while walking through the, si the city seeing Trump Tower, Donald recalled, this is a long way from Karlstadt. And uh, 2015, a Karlstadt filmmaker and remote relative of the Trumps produced a documentary in which Donald promised to visit Karlstadt. Don't know if he did. So that's what I've got on uh, Donald Trump. I think that's everything. Let's see. Yeah, that's the whole uh, shooting match right there. So we're going to get into uh, the reading now. So this is another Los Carabillo, the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And so these are super gilded is what's the deal with these, all in the right of weight uh, iconography kind of. And a typical uh, instruction booklet that's, you know, not that great and a little bit difficult to read. But the um, what's good here is in the cards. They're kind of handy to use, so that's all good. And look how beautiful they are. I don't know if it shows up as well on the cameras it does in person, but when you use these in person, I mean, they are really stunning and someone feels like they're getting money's worth. So we'll mix them up like this so that we can kind of get our, our uh, energy into the cards. And sometimes it's good to let the querent um, you know, get their hands on them just for a minute. And then people get more involved. You know, once you've touched it, it's, uh, it's more appealing. So here we go. We'll get this going. Okay, so these trumps. Jeez, let's see. What can we ask? Okay, they have lied for generations about various things, a lot of it, their name and where they're from, um, avoided military service, so cowards. Um, they've all been very successful. I mean, someone in the family of each generation has been very successful. Not everybody, but although, I mean, a couple of, one of his uncles, I think was a professor or um, a scientist of some sort. And then of course his own sister, Marianne, is a, was a, a noted judge. Um, so they're talented. It's amazing, but there's one 
in there always who lies and becomes the most successful, it seems. So let's see. It would have been interesting to know about the brothers uh, and sisters of the very first Trump, the grandpa Trump. Uh, so, but you know, tell me this stuff isn't genetic. It is absolutely genetic. It's in your, it's in, you know, the way your cells are, are making you, uh, your body work. Um, so let's see, let's, is this, gen I want to know, is this genetic? Are these people reincarnations of the same person? Um, it could be either of those. It could be both of those. So cards, this is a big one. What can you tell me? All these Trumps, all these most successful Trumps, well, any of these Trumps, are they all, is it genetic? Because this Donald Trump really looks like his mother. The first two, uh, his father and his grandfather, they both look like the original Trump. Um, so is it genetic? We'll ask that. And uh, then for the last four, we'll see if it's um, three generations here. So we'll do three stacks. For the last four, we'll ask if it's um, uh, reincarnation two. All right, so six cards. One, two, and the distrust, the dishonesty. Three, four, five. Good grief. You know what? It goes back to what I always say. When someone reveals who they are to you, we leave them the first time, whether it's by accident or on purpose, that they've revealed themselves. So let's see. The signifier card for, is this just genetic? And how are the cards going to tell us that? Let's see. Uh, the signifier card for this then. Okay, so this is, well, yeah, this is abuse of power. So this uh, seems to speak to, you know, bad things. I ask, is it genetic? And I get, uh, I'd have to get some card. So uh, the, the Five of Swords usually speaks to some abuse of power. And if we're looking for genetic, I mean, we can see that this card happens to reference one, two, three, uh, persons here. So are we talking about three generations? One, two, three generations of uh, abusers. I don't know. Kind of makes sense. But what's the challenge to that if that were the case? What's the challenge to that? The challenge to that with the question, is this um, genetic, is we got the four of cups. And I guess you could look at it that way. Kind of being, you know, something is, is being offered. Some some passionate, some some element of is is almost being, you know, uh, otherworldly offered. Uh, so I'm going to twist it that way and say, uh, yeah, the challenge to this abuse, uh, this tendency for abuse is the fact that it may not be something you want. And so some of the kids are able to reject it, but some of them uh, maybe aren't. Uh, the base of this reading then, uh, is this genetic is going to be the uh, hermit. And um, so, you know, the base of this reading is the Hermit. The Hermit of Wands, not the Hermit of Wands, but the Hermit is someone who is uh, looking for a path, looking for his way, seeking uh, the uh, the way to go. And that almost uh, seems to me as, as looking down a genetic line, perhaps. So, I mean, you can tell me in the comments if I'm really stretching it, but this seems to work so far. In the, in the past in this reading, for whether this is genetic, look at that, the Wheel of Fortune. So, yeah, uh, you know, it's just... A spin of the wheel as to who's going to get uh, the gene. So, okay, I'm into it now. In the sky of this reading is, uh, let's see, this is going to be the magician. And this does, you know, you've got all the elements to work with here. And um, and uh, you, as is above, so is below. So I'm going to say there is some magic to it. Interesting. So there is some magic to it. Um, and the likely outcome for the first part of this question is whether this is just genetic. Obviously it is is, uh, look at that, Argy Bargy. So uh, my friend, uh, she's not my friend, I've never even spoken with her, but Lena Rodriguez, Taro uh, Down Under, she's fantastic. If you haven't seen her, you should. But um, this five of, of wands um, is just uh, talking about a battle, uh, uh, um, a skirmish, uh, disharmony. And uh, this could be the uh, mental mix-up that seems to be, uh, you know, streaming through the genes, genes of these people. Now, uh, but you know what's interesting is we haven't found out about a really evil female Trump, or maybe we just don't know about them. Um, the uh, last four cards, we're going to say, is reincarnation involved in this also? So I'm going to give this a little bit of a shuffle for this one. Reincarnation, after all, is kind of mixing up uh, bodies, uh, spirit perhaps. So is reincarnation involved in this also? What is the self of that question? Is reincarnation involved also? What's the self of that question? I'm going to really dig here for that card. 
Wow, and this is the Tower card. Um, reincarnation, the Tower card. So, I mean, you would have to, um, I don't know, let's just leave it like that. So, the, it is, um, it's a calamity. Okay, the Tower card is, you know, a, a it's, it's not good. Uh, nothing, it's not good. So, uh, the um, environment that this is in is, if we're asking, if this is reincarnation, what is the environment that that card is in then? Ah, remembering the way things were, certainly. Uh, reincarnation does make you think about remembering another time, another place, when you're another person. Huh. And then, uh, so uh, could this be that the, the, the calamities, if we've had uh, lives where we have lived these calamitous uh, events, we're giving a chance to try again to fix it, to try again to fix it. The grandpa, I mean, he had hotels with rooms for, specific rooms for prostitutes, okay? Um, he left uh, Germany under suspect of having, trying to avoid the military. He goes back with the guts to write to the prince to say, hey, um, listen, can you let me back in? I mean, that is amazing. So you get a chance to do it again. And uh, I think this uh, remembering the way things were kind of fits. Um, the uh, likely outcome for this question, is it genetic? So we, we feel like it's, it's passed down in the genes, and is it also um, rebirth? Um, wow, having to choose a way to go. So if your soul is up there and somebody's going to say, listen, you didn't get it right, let's let's get back and do it again. I think it's amazing that you would get to do it again so soon. I mean, one generation after the next generation. I want to say, if that were the case, this is an evolved soul. And I have always felt like this current uh, Trump uh, has some sort of an intuition, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, a mal- uh, mal intuition, a bad intuition, I don't know. And then, so the likely outcome of this uh, is, I'm going to take it right off the end here, is going to be the, uh, well, the Empress. The Empress is um, kind of like Mother Earth, and you think of the Empress when you do think of uh, rebirth or birth or abundance and uh, knowledge and uh, power and uh, natural. So for me, yes. Yes, it's a combination of that. It's it's a it's a matter of it's in the genes, and there is some uh, uh, rebirth involved in that. My opinion, completely my opinion. I hope that you see it a different way. So I don't know. I mean, you have to decide for yourself. I can just show you the cards as they came out. I'm asking in the first six cards, is this uh, is this genetic? You know, and I you know I think there's a big part of that that makes it is genetic. And we start off with uh, five of swords, which is uh, you know abuse of power. And uh, the challenge of that abuse of power being offered something you don't want. Who wants to have this this uh, gene in them? I would suppose uh, the basis of the reading was the hermit. So a big study. Uh, the past of the reading was uh, the uh, wheel of fortune. So a spin of the genetic fortune and the sky of the reading is a magician because it is a magical a potion almost that uh, makes up all of us I uh, yes, you could think that way and then the likely outcome was this argy bargy this this um, disharmony that uh, is is involved so and then to ask for specifically uh, is it is it reincarnation I get the tower card you interpret that uh, in the environment of uh, who is this? this oh yeah remembering the way things were that does kind of make you think about rebirth uh, the uh, Hopes and the fears making a choice. You know, your spirit has to decide, well, let's go back and try it again. And then uh, with the final uh, outcome of the Empress, who is Mother Earth herself. So, you know, you decide. I think it's all involved. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.